Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by First Paw Coffee Company, specializing in private label premium blend coffee. If you're serious about coffee, you should check it out. First Paw Coffee's passion is high quality small batch roasted coffee. They take the extra time to taste and get everything perfect before they release new blends. They aim to bring you a cup of happiness each time you pour yourself some coffee. Find out more at ak.dog slash free and enter for a chance to win some First Paw Coffee prizes, a book from our collection and tote bag. One winner will be selected at random each month. That's ak.dog slash free. Any seasoned hiker who routinely hits the trail with a canine companion knows having their beloved dog along for the adventure elevates the experience. Enjoying the reward of stunning vistas during a long hike takes on an added measure of joy with your tail wagging friend by your side. However, backcountry treks with your dog require an added measure of preparation and awareness. Listen up for tips to follow before you hit the trailhead and during your hike so you and your furry best pal can make the most of your outing. On today's show, we are going to talk about how to prepare for hiking with your dog and if you stick around, we will tell you our professional opinion of which breeds of dogs make the best adventure dogs. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. This is your host, Michelle Forto, and I am the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works. Here, we help owners and dogs have better relationships. So, how do you prepare for a hike with your dog? Well, there are several steps to take well before you lace up your hiking boots and attach your dog's leash. If possible, take a canine first aid class. It's unlikely you'll need to utilize these skills, but you'll be really glad to have them in an emergency. Also, make sure your dog's vaccinations are current and he is treated routinely with heartworm and flea tick preventative before you expose him to the great outdoors. Here's some other important precautions and preparations. Make sure your dog has identification preferably multiple sources. A properly fitted personalized collar, identification, and rabies hanging tags with a microchip all together improve the chances of his safe return if you lose him on the hike. If your dog will wear a pack, practice at home first. Familiarize yourself with the regulations on the trail you'll be hiking. Most United States national parks have tight restrictions on where dogs can hike, but some parks are pet friendly. Most national forests allow dogs on the trails. Investigate how rough the trail is and opt for a shaded trail that's easy on the paws. Avoid sharp rocks, off-trail routes with steep drops, and hot floor surfaces. Avoid trails with heavy horse or mountain bike traffic. Avoid trails with ladders. Never attempt to climb or descend one while carrying your dog. Make sure there is a safe water source where you're going, but also be prepared to treat your dog's water as well as your own. Dogs are susceptible to giardia and other waterborne diseases as humans. What to pack for your hike? You'll need to fine tune what you pack depending on the length of your hike and whether you're camping. But the following packing list is a good starting point for a day hike with your best buddy. A short to moderate healing leash, preferably 6 feet in length, not to exceed 10 feet. Some trails have regulations. 
So check before you go. Avoid retractable leads. Thread your belt through the leash handle for hands-free hiking. Consider a harness for a dog who will remain leashed for the entire hike. Food, water, and treats. Consider adding Pedialyte to his water to combat dehydration, but consult your veterinarian. Give him treats formulated only for dogs. How much food and water? Well, you should pack at least 50% more food than what your dog normally eats and up to double his normal rations for a strenuous hike. Pack a quart of water for every three miles you plan to hike. Dog first aid kit with accompanying guide include a muzzle and injured dog can become aggressive. Dog booties. Sensitive paws may need help navigating a rough trail. Booties will also protect your dog's pads from salted, slippery, or very cold terrain. Be advised that dogs sweat through their feet and can overheat if booties are left on too long. Poop bags and a trowel. If you are not burying your dog's waste according to the leave no trace principles, you'll need to double bag it and pack it out with you. Before you go, find out the specific leave no trace requirements on the trail you plan to hike. Let's recall those leave no trace rules, shall we? So, poop happens. You'll need to deal with it, canine or otherwise. Using the proper leave no trace practices for the trail you're on. If you're not packing it out, dig a hole in an inconspicuous space at least 200 feet or 70 paces from water sources, trails, and your campsite. The hole should be 6 to 8 inches deep, 4 to 6 inches in a desert environment, and 4 to 6 inches in diameter. After burying the waste, refill the hole with the original dirt and cover it and disguise it with natural materials. You should also bring along with you a dog brush and or comb and a tick key. It's easier to deal with entangled seeds and other plant materials along the way and to discover ticks before they embed. A tick must attach for 24 to 48 hours to tr- transmit Lyme disease. A dog coat or vest for a short-haired indoor breed if you'll be outside in cold, wet conditions. Choose one with belly coverage for hikes in the snow. A dog-specific personal flotation device if you will be on a lake or river or plan to canoe. Insect repellent with DEET. Test with a small dab at home first and look for adverse reactions like drowsiness, lethargy, or nausea. Apply to areas your dog can't groom off, like the shoulders, neck, and around the ears. Taking care to avoid the ears themselves and the inner ears specifically. Bear bells. Attach one to his collar and one to your belt or shoes to reduce the chance of a bear encounter. Now let's talk about hiking with your dog, trail safety and etiquette. Without rules, anarchy reigns. It takes only a couple of dog related incidents or expensive rescues to invite more dog restrictions on the trail. Observe a little wisdom and common sense to optimize your outing and keep everybody safe. Give your dog an opportunity for water whenever you take a drink, every 15 minutes to half an hour, depending on the difficulty of the hike and the temperature. Discourage your dog from drinking stagnant water on the trail and look instead for clear running water. If your dog drinks salt water, encourage him or her to drink plenty of fresh water afterward. Sanitize any water you get along the way with tablets or a portable water treatment system. Stay on the trail. Keep your dog on a leash that is 10 feet in length or shorter. One to one is the best dog to human ratio for a hike. Two is the maximum number of dogs to take on the trail with your group. Three dogs make a pack and can intimidate other hikers and wildlife. 
Hikers without dogs have the right of way always. Restrain your dog, step aside, and allow them to pass. If your dog is off leash and another dog is coming, leash your dog. Allow them to sniff briefly and then be on your way. If your floppy-eared dog goes for a watery romp or swim, rinse out her ears afterwards. When the adventure ends, give your pooch a final bumper-to-bumper exam and remove any unsavory stowaways on her. Once home, follow up with a thorough shampoo to rid her coat of oils from poisonous plants she may have picked up on the hike. Then, start planning your next big adventure. There is infinite fun to be had on the trail. The more often you take your beloved companion hiking and backpacking with you, the more seasoned and acclimated she'll become to outdoor adventure. Hike safely with your dog. You'll rock her world. I'm going to take a short break here and you're going to learn all about First Paw Coffee. So earlier, you learned about First Paw Coffee Company. Now I'm going to tell you about its Adventure Mix Blend. First Paw Coffee Company's Adventure Mix Blend is inspired by our sense of adventure and our love of the outdoors. Our new Adventure Mix Blend is a whole bean offering and is a dark roast from South America with French inspiration featuring smoky raspberry, dark chocolate, and anise flavors. Seek out your next adventure with a cup of bold Adventure Mix. Be sure to go to ak.dog slash free and enter to win a bunch of cool prizes. That's ak.dog slash free. All right, you guys, let's learn all about the best dogs for hiking with the top adventure dog breeds. Tail wagging, tongue lolling, bounding down the trail. You've seen them. Dogs hiking or backpacking with their humans. It's clear they're enjoying the journey. The hiking dog is eager, energized, agreeable, as happy about the bugs and the weather as he is the difficult uphill switchbacks. Hiking with friends is fun, but your best, most reliable companion on the trail, finally, may be your dog. Hiking with a dog can enrich the experience for both of you and for your hiking colleagues, but is best undertaken with a canine who's got the moxie. It's wise to leave puppies and senior dogs with compromised health at home. And before you hit the trail with any dog, ask yourself these questions. Can he keep up? Engage in a vigorous outdoor play session to see who tires out first. If he did, he probably doesn't have the endurance needed for a hike. Is he obedient? Place him in the company of other dogs. Will he still come to you when he is distracted? If not, he's not ready for the trail unless you can keep him leashed for the entire hike. Work on obedience with him on long distance return and emergency drop on command are crucial for backcountry hikes. Does he have good hiking genes? With the few notable exceptions that I'm going to discuss in a moment, short-legged dogs should be left at home or only taken along on very easy short trails. And shorter snouted dogs, boxers, pugs, and French or English bulldogs, for example, are susceptible to respiratory issues that make long-distance hiking difficult or impossible. Does he have a clean bill of health? Make sure your hiking dog has regular checkups and keep his vaccinations, flea and tick preventative medications current. Most healthy physical fit dogs can handle a hike through flat terrain that lasts no longer than your longest regular walks at home. But if you really want to hit the backcountry with your best friend along, several breeds stand out as the best hiking dogs. Here we discuss a few of our favorites along with a few honorable mentions. The Rhodesian Ridgeback so called because of the characteristic ridge of hair running the length of his spine against the direction of the rest of his coat. This dog was bred historically as an African lion hunter. 
With his low maintenance short hair and efficient stride, the Rhodesian Ridgeback adapts better to heat than most breeds and, as such, has no problem hiking in it. As much as he is sinewy and strong, the Rhodesian Ridgeback temperament is also fearless and loyal to a fault. If your backcountry hike will take you well off the beaten path, there is no other dog you'd sooner have by your side. He is hands down the best protector against outdoor threats, and he has earned the moniker Navy Seal of Dogs for good reason, with his thick pads can handle the roughest of terrain. Rumor has it, the Rhodesian Ridgeback can keep pace with a running horse as far as 30 miles. Among the best outdoor dogs, this intelligent, faithful, hardworking breed makes a superlative hiking partner. The Vizsla. A pointer of Hungarian extraction, the Vizsla is an exceptionally trainable dog. She is a natural runner who excels at speed, strength, endurance, navigating obstacles, and jumping. She is even a strong swimmer. And because of her short coat, she adapts well to hikes in warm to temperate climates. She is a good-natured gal who welcomes a hike of any duration and makes an excellent watchdog and admirable trait for camping. The Bernese Mountain Dog, hardy, affectionate, intelligent, a gentle giant. These are all attributes of the Bernese Mountain Dog, an animal who possesses a natural love of the outdoors and who craves an active lifestyle. A working farm dog from the Swiss Alps, he was made for drafting and droving, which is moving livestock. His German name, Werner Sennenhund, in fact means alpine pasture dog. He can pull 10 times his body weight and because of this mighty work ethic has no difficulty at all packing in supplies for your backcountry adventure. The Bernese Mountain Dog loves a large playground and thus takes a shine to hike. Easily trained and naturally obedient, he'll stay by your side unleashed. His agility allows him to navigate rocky terrain effortlessly, and his heavy coat makes him an excellent cold-weather hiker. The Labrador Retriever We can't say enough good things about America's most popular dog, your favorite and ours. The family choice for thousands and for good reason, the Labrador Retriever loves running and playing and being outdoors in general. She has been described as weatherproof, waterproof, and tenacious. Excellent qualities all. The consummate athlete, she is also friendly to a fault and loves to explore. This makes her a delightful hiking partner for you to be sure, but also for others you encounter since they'll recognize her as a non-threatening, tail-wagging presence on the trail. Smart, trainable, strong, and hardworking, the lab will agreeably pack in 7 to 10 pounds of gear in most climates, but does not like extremes. Bring a good stick or a frisbee to satisfy her voracious appetite for play and by all means keep her moving. Labs love to eat. She's not picky either. Keep an eye on her and are prone to obesity. Give her loads of exercise to help maintain her girlish figure. She also loves to swim and enjoys hikes that extend her this opportunity. You really can't go wrong hiking with the lab. The Portuguese Water Dog this cheerful fellow is a champ. He was made for hard work, herding fish, retrieving lost tackle, or broken nets, swimming as a courier between ships or from ship to shore, and in general, shines in the surf. There is not much he hasn't done, but in spite of his love for the water, he's at home on terra firma too. So if your hiking adventures will take you to the beach or the lake, he's the top dog. Above all, be prepared for an active lifestyle. The Portuguese water dog is adventurous and thrives on daily mental stimulation and physical exercise. Like the lab, he possesses a friendly demeanor which makes other hikers comfortable around him, but he also loves being within sight of you. This makes him an excellent companion on the trail, ill-suited to leave alone for long periods of time. The Siberian Husky and the Alaskan Malamute. 
They are distinct breeds to be sure, but share some attributes, notably their propensities as cold weather traction dogs. The Malamute is the bigger and stronger of the two, weighing between 75 and 85 pounds. Comfortable over harsh terrain and cold climates, she can endure temperatures to an impressive 70 degrees below zero. Her massive feet perform like snowshoes. Her sharp claws grip the ice. Be advised, she rarely barks and thus makes a poor watchdog. She may also exhibit a strong prey drive and a willingness to go after small animals. Coming from the same genetic stock, the smaller Siberian Husky should not be overlooked as an excellent hiking partner. At 35 to 60 pounds, she's more compact than her Malamute cousin, but as happy in the snow and extreme cold. The Husky is sometimes seen as more social than the Malamute and generally makes a good family pet. She needs loads of exercise and is happy to cover long distances with you on the trail, especially in the cold. She has also earned a reputation as an escape artist with a strong prey drive. And like the Malamute, the Husky makes a poor watchdog. She may howl to identify with her pack, but is less willing to alert you to an intruder with her barking. Here are some honorable mentions. The Australian Shepherd is a plucky, hike-worthy canine, nicknamed the Ghost Eye Dog because of his distinctive otherworldly eyes. The Aussie is a herding dog known for his excellent work ethic, impeccable social skills, and protective nature. He's ideal for an active family and makes a good companion for anybody who enjoys exploring different types of terrain. Steep inclines and long excursions are child's play for him, and his agility and obedience are unmatched. Avoid temperature exp- extremes with this otherwise hardy dog. A German short haired pointer is an affectionate fellow with above average intelligence. He's a bit like our beloved lab, marginally more difficult to train, and like the lab, he started purely as a hunting dog and evolved into a worthy family pet owing to his winsome personality. He has a strong prey drive and will possibly bolt at the sight of a small animal, but makes a good guard dog. Helpful in the wilderness, you will tire on the trail well before he does. The Jack Russell Terrier possesses an audacious spirit and a compact package. The Jack Russell has boundless energy and does not tire easily. She'll stick by your side on the trail and makes an excellent watchdog at your campsite, alerting you to potential intruders. The Rat Terrier possesses many of the Jack Russell's admirable qualities, but barks less and is arguably more trainable. Do not be surprised if she gifts you with a chipmunk or a mouse as she was made for pest control. If you love hiking but your lifestyle otherwise rules out a larger dog breed, the Jack Russell and the Rat Terrier each make a surprisingly praiseworthy companion animal for outdoor adventuring. And let's not forget our greatest of canine buddies, the Mutt. There are plenty of adoptable mixed breed dogs who make excellent hiking buddies. Just make sure your beloved mutt meets the benchmarks above. Hike well, hike safely, and hike often. And by all means, hike with your dog. Including him in your backcountry adventures will make both of you experts, sweetening the experiences and galvanizing the already tight bond between you. It's now time for our calendar of events. For those that are listening locally on KVRF, our current and past clients, stay tuned for important announcements. For our other listeners, stick around and you might learn something cool. We are continuing on with Beat the Heat Month, Dog Training Education Month, Spay Neuter Awareness Month, Pet Dental Health Month, Responsible Pet Owners Month, and National Prevent a Litter Month, all in the month of February. In early April, we will be at the Matsu Outdoorsman Show at the Alaska State Fairgrounds in Palmer for this three-day event. Come out to say hello. We like it when you say hi. 
We will also have all of our coffee blends on sale, a bunch of gear, and you can learn all about our Adventure Dog Club just in time for spring. We are excited about this. It was canceled last year because of COVID, but this year is supposed to be bigger than ever. Not only will we be there, but there will be food trucks, live events, demonstrations, and much more. This is the premier event for anyone that is interested in getting outdoors in Alaska. On April 17th, we will be starting our group classes in the park. They will be held at Wonderland Park in Wasilla at 1130. These are free for our current and past clients and are part of your training package. If you are not a client or just want to check us out, this is a great way. We do have a nominal drop-in fee. We are gathering gear for our first ever nose work class and tri-ball. And Robert is thinking about doing pack walks again, too. If you want to get an idea of what we'll be doing, head on over and watch the pack on Amazon Prime Video. It's a really cool show. Did you know that every Wednesday and Sunday night we do a Facebook Live at 7 p.m. on our Alaska Dog Works Facebook page? Be sure to check us out. If you missed the live broadcast, you can always tune in later. And I have a special announcement. Our daughter, Nicole, has joined Alaska Dog Works, and she will be offering, among other things, day training classes in Anchorage. Much more to come on that. Did you know that Nicole started training dogs at nine years old and one of her first clients was a family with two huge Rottweilers. They said they couldn't walk on a leash. Also, stay tuned for information about the Summer Festival, how you can train your dog to run in the Alaska Dog Works Dryland Derby this fall and much more. As always, you can keep up to date by following us on our social channels. Just search Dog Works Radio and for more training tips and tricks and to learn how to schedule a free discovery call to talk with us about how to make your dog one of the best, visit alaskadogworks.com. But one last thing, did you know the single best thing you can do is tell your family and friends about our show? Why don't you send them a link to this episode and they too will soon be a rabid listener. This episode of the podcast is sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company. Learn more at firstpaw.coffee. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forda and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.